Welcome to you all. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. As always, we'll try not to make any slips in the commentary, but there might be some slips out on the pitch, Alan, in these wet conditions. Yeah, and uh, I don't think it's going to stop during the course of the match, so I don't think it's going to affect the game in any way in terms of calling it off, but it might get very wet for the players. Coming up for you now, Bradford City against Berry. Gives it away. And this is the lineup for the home side. He looks as though the manager has set up a team here. Whatever happens, we're not going to be beaten today. Does look that way, doesn't it? And uh, I hope it's not a dull affair, this, because we've seen this manager set up teams in the past and just concentrating on a clean sheet. This is how the visitors will line up today. Well, it's the old joke, isn't it, Alan? Diamonds aren't forever, but they are, for this game anyway, for this manager. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? We've got those lads on the side of the diamond quite wide, but I think they might tuck in when they haven't got the ball just to try. Just to keep it to beat. Well, that could have been a really dangerous breakaway, but it's been stopped in its tracks. Stokes. For a long time, Hull City, of course, were the biggest catchment area, but they've never had a top division football team. Now they've had a few goes at it, and here they go again. Must take the lead here which they do in good style. Yeah, they played some good football leading up to that, Martin, and thoroughly deserved that goal. Well, this is when it's tough being a goalkeeper. A little bit more on it, and it would have been a very fine save. As it is, he's picking the ball out of the net. Yeah, he sets high standards, this lad, and I think he's just dropped below those. Oh, look at the manager. He works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Penalty been given at the KC Stadium. Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Hull City. He's put the ball down on the spot. Up he steps. Oh, it's a great... Shreds it through. He could cross it now. Stokes. Apologies for cutting off Alan McAnally. Uh, what he was trying to tell us was that Hull City did score in that game. They've converted from the penalty spot to make it 1-0. Adams. Stokes. Stokes. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. In with a chance, and they get it away. Now that's a throw. Where you are, and your coach will meet you outside the stand. Thank you. Adams. He went in well. Thompson. Oh, charge down. Reeves to Jones. Riley. Alan McAnally wants to join us now. He's got a goal to tell us about. It's a goal for Blackpool. 32 minutes played. 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. Sean Scannell. Riley. And now Thompson. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Put into the middle. Cleared away, well away from goal. Reeves. Excellent interception. Sean Scannell. 
able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Anderson. We've got two added minutes. And the goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. Well, that's half time at 1 0. So the weather is terrible and it's remained so during half time. There's no respite for the players as they've come out getting another drenching at the start of this second half. Goal news now from Rochdale. It's a second goal for Bolton Wanderers. 47 minutes played, 2 1. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Riley. Now they're pressing in at him. Decision is a throw. It was a fair tackle. Sean Scannell. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Yeah, it was a good first 45 minutes from the lad. Got the ball rolling with that goal, and he's been central to most of the good things his team has done. It's a good cross. It's a weak cross, really, not getting past the first defender. One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. Reeves. Anderson. Crisp defending there. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Slipping it through. Trying to get that. Shot off! Well, they've got a corner now. And possibly a chance to add to their lead. Number 18, Jermaine Anderson. To be replaced by number 19, Shane McCartan. Well, the team that are in front are going to try and keep in front with a change here. A player being brought on from the bench. Corner played in. Defended well. Nicky Maynard. Proper tackle that. Adams. Nicky Maynard. Trying to slip it through. O'Shea! Oh, good save. And he's clung onto the ball as well. Goal news from Charlton. It's a second goal for the visitors. It's been scored by Elliot Lee. That's his second today. A cross from the right left the keeper flat-footed and it came back off the far post into his path to tap home. 70 minutes played, 2-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Hard to get possession. Adams. And there is some uh, backup for him in this position. Whipped in from the wide area. Corner coming up. Substitution now. And might use up a bit of time here as well for the team that want to hang on to this lead. Corner played into the middle. Played away, well away from goal. Going forward well. Shots on here. And the ball knocked away long. Adams. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. We're into nine minutes now. Well, the noise in here. These fans, they're like the 12th man trying to G their players up. This could be a key corner. We're right at the dying minutes. 
Well, they've decided to make a change. There's activity down there amongst the substitutes, and one will be coming on. Here comes the corner. It's a brave effort, really, in amongst the players to get the header in, but off target, way off target. Yeah, not his best effort, that's for sure. Well, Mr Smith's eyes lit up alongside me, and he's only on the gantry. You'd love to have taken that chance. You would have taken that chance. Well, service like that, you cannot complain about it, and it's a really poor header for him. Time wasting, Alan, do you think, from the away team here? They've got a win perhaps uh, in their sights now if they do well, but there are other ways of seeing it through from here. Yeah, well, you can understand it to a certain extent. They've worked hard to get themselves into this position and they don't seem to have too many ambitions of getting another goal now. Sean Scannell. Three, three minutes to be added on. Riley. Added time. Now O'Connor. That's good defending. He really had to deal with that. And the referee blows for one last time. Hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we have up on the commentary gantry. And the winning team will be enjoying it because a win's one thing, but to win playing that well, certainly in the attacking sense, that's almost the whole package, isn't it? It is. I mean, they, they swarmed forward and uh, the opposition didn't know where to look. Uh, the movement, the work right, and then the finishing. You couldn't fault it. Hello everyone, Martin Tyler here, Alan Smith with me as usual. Big welcome to you to today's game. It does look, Alan, as though it is going to continue to be a one-horse race, but we shouldn't stop praising them because they've been excellent. Well, what I've been impressed with is the way that they've, they've kept the focus despite this big gap. They've not rested on the laurels and heading towards being champions. Berry more than useful at the moment and they're hoping to get another victory here they played very well last time out in that away victory against Bradford City yeah 1-0 and I think they can steady the ship with at least a draw here this is the lineup for the home side well it looks like all hands to the defensive pump at least they've got two forwards yes and uh, hopefully they will get some service but uh, it is capable this shape of being pretty negative the lineup for the away side. Well, it's 4 4 2 for them today, but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the fullbacks to provide the width in this shape. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Can pull it back here to set up a chance. And the ball's gone out for a corner. Put the corner in the middle. Only partially away from danger. Graham. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. White. Goal news from Blackpool. It's a goal for Shrewsbury Town. 16 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Cheers, Alan. What we've got here is a chance for 
the home team to do the double over their opponents today, Alan. Yeah, they made a statement, Martin, didn't they, with that earlier win on away territory, and it was a really good performance. And it's with Hamilton. Hamilton, lovely ball. Disappointed that that didn't lead to more. It's Miller. Opening them up with a through pass. Put into the middle. Cleared away by the defender. Can whip it in now. Shot off. Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. It's a very good interception. Loses possession. Pierce. Good distance to the clearance then. That will be a throw. It's a good ball. They could be in. likes to come into this area they'll want him further up front though as the game develops I'm sure played forward a bit of menace in this attack it's Miller still got a bit to do but this is promising put in from the wide area well, they've got to keep the crosses coming in. I'm sure in the end we'll deliver something, but it didn't this time. White. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. And now the shot. Well, that's the way to take the lead. That's a stunning goal. Fine move. Excellent application in front of goal. He's a really good player. And he's taken the chance with some aplomb here. It's his game, isn't it? A one-touch finish, and a great example of it. Yeah, and takes a, a lot of skill, a bit of timing to keep that shot on target, and he did it beautifully. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Mansfield Town goal. Number seven, Alex McDonald. More. It should be. The keeper might be needed again. He didn't hang on to the ball. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Striding forward purposefully. The shot's on. Keeper controls it, never looked like bouncing off him. Yeah, it made it look easy, but his position... Well, the referee has signalled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Oh, it's good first-half performance from him, and not just with the late goal, which was really important to get his team ahead, but everything he did was nice and sharp. Now the second period, the second half is underway. Alan McAnally is our man watching elsewhere. Alan, what have you got to tell us? It's a second goal for Plymouth Argyle. 47 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. More. Saw the ball, went for it. No nonsense defending from him. And it's going to be a, a throw here. Goal news from South End. It's a second goal for South End United. 52 minutes played, 2-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. White. And that will 
end the threat, at least for the moment. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. That's an excellent cross. And they get it away. And now Hamilton. Hamilton. Goal news now from Portsmouth. It's another goal for Portsmouth. 60 minutes played. 4 1. Cheers, Alan. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Well, this could bring them level. Goalkeeper out of position. And from close range, he really should have scored. Well, he should. That was a golden opportunity spurned. Activity on the bench for the losing team. A substitute getting ready to come off. Hamilton. That's very good shielding of the ball. Put in from the wide area. And he's caught that right, but just off target. Ah, not too much wrong with the technique there. Miller getting forward well as a team now as a target at the front post good punch from the goalkeeper from the cross still 20 minutes to go and it's with Hamilton goal news from Peterborough it's a second goal for Millwall 73 minutes played, 2-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Lovely ball. In with a chance. Routine for the keeper. Good screening, and he's kept the ball. There's going to be a throw-in after that tackle. Goal news from Blackpool. It's a second goal for Shrewsbury Town. 79 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. It's a terrific effort by the home side here. They've just kept their noses in front. And they're going to need all the support they can get for that to continue to the final whistle. Yeah, if they do end up winning this, they will have their fans to thank because they've been terrific out there today. Guiding it through. a penalty and at this time in the match too big decision for the referee big moment in the game this late a penalty oh the lad holding his head in disgust he knows he's made a real mistake there i thought that was possibly dangerous the replay might tell us yeah i think so and it was a poor tackle it was badly timed Did the necessary. And that has got the goal from the penalty spot. Well taken. Yeah, I think some people have cut out for it. Some aren't. This lad certainly is. So, away we go at one all. We're down now to the last six minutes. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Can't put them in front here. At this late stage, that is a waste. And he knows what a big miss that was. Well, frustration from the manager, but... By the same token, his team are playing well. They might have gone ahead there, but they'll get another chance.
And in he goes with the tackle. And it's with Hamilton. The time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. What a difference this could make to turn a draw into a win on the counter-attack now. To go in from here. Terrific play on the ball. Oh, lovely clean feet in a confined space. You could watch that. Referees brought it to a halt. It's finished all square. Well, they've ended up with a point apiece, and it's better than losing. Yeah, I don't think either team were at their best here today. Uh, both missed chances and, uh, yeah, take away a point and move on, I think. It's a good showing from him. I think he'd have hoped for a better result. That was an important equalising goal. Didn't have a whole host of chances, but certainly put that one away well.